Yo, this is Tim Lee hanging outside of Rod Laver Arena in Melbourne, Australia for R&B Fridays Presents Fridays Live. It is one of the planet's biggest R&B concerts. Uh, the radio station I work for, Fox FM, is hosting it. And I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to be interviewing the planet's biggest R&B stars, why don't I take a microphone up to the task rather than something like a beaten up SM58 or whatever's Sennheiser's kicking around the bottom of the mic bin. This is an Earthworks SR314. You've probably seen it on stage. Uh, old mate from Arctic Monkeys is using it. Uh, Will Smith's daughter on stage. I've seen it for Saturday Night Live. And now... We're going to have a bit of a chat to people, some punters waiting around outside the stadium, and then we're going to go inside and we're going to do a bit of a test. R&B stars, do they like boring microphones or fun microphones? Now, this is your first one, isn't it? No, no. the third. Now, who's going to be your hit pick? Who do you reckon is going to put on the absolute best show? I don't, I don't mean singing, I mean just like everything all-encompassing. Maybe Shaggy? I think it's going to be Macklemore, but I want Shaggy to really bring it to the table tonight. Yeah, TLC, Akon and Jay Sean. So they're my favourites. I appreciate you doing this because before you were giving me eyes like I'm a creep. Because nice. that's, that's the name of the song. <laughs> now you were judging me. <laughs> yeah, so I creep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at my watch. It's a quarter past one. Don't you have like jobs or life or kids or something that you should be looking after? Yes, but we took the day off. Why are you looking so much forward to Friday's Live? Because Akon is in Australia and that's a rare occasion. How long have you been an Akon fan for? Um, since I was like 18. I'm turning 24 this weekend, so that's a long time for me. 20 quarter of a century? Oh my God. Why am I even talking to you? <laughs> now, does mum get lit when she goes out? Oh my God, just when she gets drunk. That's, that's something else. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't get drunk tonight. When I drink, I don't drink to, you know, like have fun. I drink to the point where I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's best that you don't smash the bar, hey? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Friday's Live! This is the lineage. This is where the Earthworks ethos came from. This is its older brother. This is uh, obviously handheld because it's in my hands at the moment. Used for stage performances. No processing has been done to this. Uh, straight into the H6 Zoom right here and you are hearing it unprocessed. Uh, specs, I don't know. I don't have a good memory. I partied very hard in my 20s, so we'll throw them up on the screen now. Ooh, look at those ohms and that SBL. That is in. Incredible. No, it sounds really good. A little bit of pops you can get with it, but I, there is no way that I am putting a foam shield, a windshield on this and ruining the aesthetic. Not a chance. Initially, I was a little bit worried about the plosives, the popping, but it's only like when you, you get really close like this. But when you're talking, when you're box popping people and you're like this, it doesn't happen. Yet another tick in the book. There's no handling, almost no handling. Look at me. Hanging around with that. Uh, it's almost non existent. <laughs> Sorry, I could just I could hear Shaggy sound checking in the background there. Ladies and gentlemen, Shaggy, when <laughs> the lights turn back on. <laughs> in your sound check, I heard you going through that huge back catalogue, and I don't want to be the one to say it, <laughs> but Oh Carolina, it's coming up to 30 years. Is it? Yeah, man. 30 years, yeah, so it's a long time. Oh, we're rolling? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on, sorry. Oh, that's why that might look like that. All right, I think, Drew, do you guys like my mic, dude? Yeah, I saw you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check one. My mic sounds nice. Check two. My mic sounds nice. Check three. Are you ready? Boy, we've been around. Why are you guys making me out to be the whitest guy ever? You got the moves, like you're flowing, you got the, and I'm just like standing here trying to just give it something. I love that we got these old school microphones. This is actually one of our other announcers. He bought this himself. This is his, so I've jacked it from him for this interview. Give him a kudos where it's due because it's like it's very retro. It it's is nice. It feels like sort of throwback. I like it. Last time you were here, uh, I nearly got my head kicked in trying to get into your dressing room. Right. And I don't think it was any of those blokes back there no actually well these are my these are my sons so they got older <laughs> but it's the same guys all the all the older guys are the same ones that was here when i came back when i was here before i've been waiting for a chance to ask you eye to eye man right. to man is it true that if you come to your dressing room and you say 
that that will get you into the dressing room? Because I've been riding on this story for years, Acod. Wow. Well, I mean, up until now, it did get you in the dressing room. But now everybody knows. So. <laughs> yeah, because if, if you knew me by Ali, then that means you know me from the beginning, before the music. And I've just absolutely shot myself in the foot, have I? Yep, you sure Great. did. You know when artists do that, they're like, just... You sing it! And they're like, no, I came here to see you sing, you bloody wanker. So, like, sing the song. So, like, sometimes it's nice to sort of just let them rock out but most of the time i think really it's you know you've got a they've come there for that one moment give it to them have you seen the merch for it wasn't me that they're selling upstairs uh yeah i mean which one there are more than one of them with all the positions the positions <laughs> yeah but it, it all all the positions that that particular merch uh we can't keep it without getting graphic yeah. of those positions let's try to yeah. splash it up on the screen now mm-hmm. how many are you accustomed to and with uh, i said it wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> That's my story, and I'm still sticking to it. <laughs> You're uh, a tricky one, aren't you? I grew up. I first fell in love to TLC. Sixth grade. You know, Tessa. Tessa. Tessa Clements. And um, right after, she gave me a big-ass um, Hershey's kiss for Valentine's Day and then broke up with me a couple of days oh. after that. Perfect. Where did you guys get this mic? <laughs> It's my microphone. It's it's from Earthworks, a US company. Earthworks. Uh huh. Is it the Maniac mic? He stole the Maniac mic. Yeah. I thought you did it. I thought this was like the craziest Nardwar detective work ever. Yeah. This is impressive. 